Hello, boys and girls. My name is Ms. D. Thomas, and today we're going to look at an art project called My Bad Hair Day, The Importance of Line. This lesson is for fourth and fifth grade. Here are standards that we're going to be using in this work of art. Our essential question is, why is line important in drawing and painting? The elements of art that we're going to pay attention to are line and shape. We're also going to be looking at what a portrait, a portrait is and what an artist is. What is a line and why is it important to an artist? Well, Think about how important a role line plays in the creation process. Lines can communicate an idea or express a feeling. They can appear inactive or active. Lines define objects. Line is the path of a moving point. They can go horizontal, vertical, diagonal. Line is the mark left by a tool, like a brush, a pencil, a pen, etc. Line may be curved, straight, thick, thin, smooth, long, short, and so forth. Lines are used to create shapes, patterns, textures, space, movement, and even optical illusions in design. What is an artist? An artist is a person engaged in an activity related to creating art, practicing the arts, or demonstrating an art. Do you see yourself as an artist? Today, I would like for you to take out a sheet of paper, a plain sheet of paper, and I want you to look at this chart. I would love for you to practice making lines and I want you to fill up that sheet of paper from top to bottom and then turn it over and keep practicing until that side is filled as well. Practice making horizontal lines, vertical lines, zigzag lines, curved lines, curly lines, spiral lines, thick lines and thin lines, even shapes. Do diagonal lines, cross hatching lines. Just have fun practicing making lines because the better you make your lines, boys and girls, the better you'll be able to draw. So, this concludes the first part of this lesson. And if you're ready to move on to the next part, you may proceed, but just have fun practicing your lines for today. Thank you.